Sean, Ian here at Mattershed Media, and today's events are going to be change this steering wheel. Now, I know some of you out there in YouTube land are wondering why would I ever change the steering wheel um, from the you know upgraded wheel, optional wheel, to the standard wheel that's sitting on the floor down there. And if you've been following the channel and seeing the videos here that I have on this car already, so this car is is my my Hemi Roadrunner. One of six Canadians sold. And I've just been kind of picking away at a couple of things that I know visually are incorrect. Now, I'm not looking to do a 100-point restoration on this car. It doesn't need um, a full resto, and I'm not prepared to do that. I just want to enjoy it. But in the few things, the, the information that I got with the car from day one is it actually had the steering wheel on the floor. So I have a picture from 1971, and like I said, if you've been following the channel, you'd have seen the pictures that I have of that steering wheel installed in the uh, car. So, you know, it's one of those things, well, how, how far do you go? And, uh, you know, for comparison's sake, so I've driven this car only a few hundred miles here in the last couple of years, just um, haven't had a chance and it's my own problem or my own fault that I haven't spent the time completely of, of driving this as much as uh, more, I guess, than what I have been. But I wanted to make sure, I wanted to get a 956 radiator in it, which I did, uh, thanks to a, a new friend of mine, uh, Maurice. He is doing a 70 Challenger RT, which we're going to feature here very soon on the channel. Uh, human and I were able to make a deal, and I got a 956 rad with basically the perfect uh, assembly date. Um, it's late February, which I can, I can do it late February. Um, I'm good with that. Um, also, what we got going on then is, so yeah, the steering wheel, it's a non-tack car, but I'm going to leave the tack in. Now, the tack actually doesn't work so so awesome. It's as, about as inaccurate as uh, um, anything else that's uh, you know, older restoration pieces, I guess. I have located the right distributor, so I'm in the process of putting that together, and there'll be a video on that. Uh, we're going to have it on the synchrograph so you can see the points functioning and and how, and as we adjust the dwell. So, and then I'm gonna install that. So then when you open the hood, we're gonna get to a point where we're looking at, you know, we're looking at pretty much um, fairly stocked. And the valve covers are gonna be the next big ticket item. And I'm not, I'm not quite sure I'm ready to go that far. These are 69 and older valve covers. And obviously we need to have 70, 71s. So I haven't quite come to come to that yet, but the seats got fixed last fall. Ray Harder here in Saskatoon. He's uh, an amazing upholstery guy. He's been a friend of mine for quite a few years and uh, I managed to get in. I've, I've been on the list for a while and there was never any panic to get it sorted, but yeah, so all new foam in the, we reused the seat covers and then new headrests, which I dyed and then dyed the steering wheel. And then uh, foam, and there was two in the back seat. There was some some pieces that weren't put together right at some point. Again, I'm I'm not. Uh, I wasn't there when he did it. I wish I would have been to see maybe a little bit better, but uh, it is what it is. So I'm gonna try my best. I'm not sure how I'm gonna be able to take this video. I might just do it in stages and just have it all pieced together. But um, step one is we're gonna take this center piece off, and these ones are quite simple. That's it. And then we're looking at all the, the horn business in here in the steering wheel. So I'm going to get those pieces. Now this piece does come out because this here could also be Dodge, right? So there's a tab on the, as you're watching this video, on the right-hand side that, that moves into a, a, a void, I guess, in there. So it's, it's pinned on one side. So you just need very gently pop that out. Now I'm going to leave it as is for now. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Um, I am selling the steering wheel. If anybody out there in, in Mopar world needs a steering wheel, um, I'm definitely going to sell it. You can uh, private message me or whatever. We can figure out a price. It's not going to be crazy. It's a reproduction steering wheel for sure. It's not, uh, it's not NOS. But nevertheless, I mean, they're 2300 bucks roughly shipped to your, to your doorstep in, in Canada. So that's kind of gross. So it won't be quite that crazy, that's for sure. But yeah, so now we're gonna get this apart and I'm gonna get reset here. We'll cut this and I'll uh, I'll resume the video once I get some tooling, but that's step one anyway. Get the 
the horn button off. So, all right, we shall return. Okay, so now that the horn button is off, we look, we have three screws and then the big uh, hog nut to take off. So that's the next step. So let's get some tools out and get that. Uh, All right, so we got three quarter inch socket and ratchet. Not bad for one handed. I try not to, it's been a long time since I've done a steering column or star steering wheel, sorry. And uh, first one on a, on a Mopar, uh, what I used to do like in, when I was first in a trade. So this is early 2000s, it was square body Chevys. Uh, the cancel return springs in the columns. I used to, you know, used to buy them by the 10 packs. Um, so you'd pull those steering wheels off and get into those ones and change the uh, cancel springs, which got to be, you know, not, not too bad. Again, you gotta do a few before, before, um, you can say you really know what you're doing. So I, I did do a little bit of reading up on this before I, I pulled this apart. I have service manual, so I just wanted to make sure that I, um, you know, verified that I know what the heck I'm doing here. I'm not just going off on a whim. So there's a washer in there we're going to get out. Okay, so now if you look in here in this area, I did take the screws out already. I just find it's a little bit simpler to show everyone. So I had this wire was connected to there. So I pulled that off, take the three Phillips screws out and then this plate comes off and exposes the next step. So if we look here, we have the cuts in there or the, the voids in there to go around the spokes of the steering wheel. So really we're, we're almost there. All right, so now as I am going through my new pieces and I want to make sure that I have everything ready. Um, I'm going to pull the other steering wheel off here right away. But if you look here, this is our contact ring for our horn. Now, um, in most of my videos, especially in the how-to videos, uh, I will never um, ever say that I know everything, that's for sure. So when I was dying the steering wheel, I totally missed the boat here and I should have had this masked off. So I definitely got some paint on here. So I'm just taking some light sandpaper and getting the uh, the copper exposed again so I can have actually a contact point um, so the horn works. If I leave this paint on there, it won't make contact and the horn won't work. And then I have to take it all apart again to, uh, to clean this up. So I'm just going to obviously do that now. And uh, so note to self or anybody who's doing this, if you're attempting to do this, I couldn't find a whole bunch of videos on, on dyeing this stuff. So that's why I wanted to make this point. Obviously, um, I made a boo-boo, which again, no big deal. It's just a little bit of sandpaper. But uh, yeah, you want to make sure you mask that off before you go ahead and start uh, spraying your color. So anyway, we'll get this all cleaned up and we will be back in action very shortly. All right, so now we are at the point where the steering wheel needs to come off. So I installed the puller. Again, I'm just a one-handed or a one-person video are here right now but i want to show you slightly i guess if you can see this this bolt up here isn't quite far enough in now for a steering wheel it's probably not that detrimental but it is one of those things that you want to pull it as straight as possible it will make it so much simpler so i'm just going to back this off just a hair and get this bolt done up now i'm going to reset this again i'm doing this through my my phone of course and I'm using a pointed end on the puller which may or may not be awesome there we go it shouldn't take a whole lot of force to take this off so that's another thing um, you want to be mindful of if you haven't if you haven't uh, pulled one of these steering wheels off in a long time like myself it's probably been 20 years but all I'm doing here is turning the shaft and it will uh, it will pop off. So I'm going to reset this up and then I'll try and take a slow motion video as this steering wheel comes off. All right. All right. So I did take uh, the crescent wrench already, I adjustable wrench, 
and I just tried it with ever such slight pressure and the steering wheel popped already. Now, as I turn this in, you can see that this gap here is getting bigger. So ultimately everything is working as it should. So now this should just pull right off once, yeah, right there. And there we have exposed the rest of the column. So the turn signal switch. So we're looking at this on the back side. So that's that's our ring here. So yeah, so we'll just take this out. Those are three eighths bolts. And uh, yeah, they come in a kit in a puller. Uh, polar kit this is our harmonic balancer polar kit and again it's uh you can use whatever you want this is the most convenient for me so so we got this out here now so yeah we'll uh we'll get the other one in and then uh we'll we'll reconvene the video from there all right okay now before we're going to install this we want to make sure we put some dielectric grease here so what we're trying to do is just make sure we promote you know, good contact all the time. All right, team, we're back here. It's uh, we're on the install, and I know I didn't show the steering wheel going exactly back on, but this was not that simple. I had some issues for sure. So I recolored the steering column, which was minor, and then the steering wheel, I put it on, and, I mean, I double check before I put it all together and the horn wouldn't work. So this is our horn switch. So when we push down, this is the beep beep. Now I have the battery disconnected, so it does work. Now when I was testing this, I just took the, the wire off and just hit it to ground and the horn wouldn't work. So what happened after some investigation is the steering wheel wasn't going down far enough and I had torqued that nut to the proper torque spec. And even probably went past it a couple of times out of just uh, spite and anger. Now, anyway, what happened was I just took some sandpaper and cleaned up the steering shaft and obviously put a little bit of lubrication on there and it, it went together just fine. So there's a master spline. So it went on this, this steering wheel went on the same direction or same location as the other one that was on. And then with that horn, with this horn switch, again, I... Uh, I got lucky. I talked to, uh, again, Bob Southoff at Radical Restorations. He had this piece for me because I didn't have that when I got the steering wheel and the uh, horn pad for it. So anyway, so I'm just going to probably have some pictures going along with this as it goes back together. I don't have a stand, which that'll be my next purchase here to make these videos better. But um, yeah, I need both hands to put this in. So there's going to be three screws that go in to these holes here with the center ring piece on that covers this and then we'll put the horn piece on after but yeah when you you know you got to set time aside for this stuff it just isn't simple uh, i i think i probably with the steering wheel not sent going all the way down and get touching the contact on the back i'm sure i wasted an hour just to, just alone in that but when i did when i tested it so this wire here the one that connects to here you just once the steering wheel's on correctly you just touch it to anywhere on the steering wheel and it should set off the horn you're just grounding grounding power so i checked the the button behind here is just in that area behind the steering wheel and it has to have battery voltage on and then this wire comes up here and then this is spring loaded so when we do this we're making it basically ground out and make the horn go so again if there's not 12 volts on the back of the steering wheel it's not going to get to that wire which then the horn isn't going to function so once I got that sorted out and I just took a screwdriver and just grounded, uh, touched that piece and, and took it to ground and the horn went off. So I knew, and the horn worked before. And that's a lot of times, you know, when you're doing any kind of work, whether it's old car, new car, truck, whatever, did it work before? Now I knew that the horn worked before. I'm just changing the steering wheel back to the original one that this car was ordered with. So everything up to that point should be good, which it was. It was just the new piece, the steering wheel that I put on. It just must have had a burr on the shaft or something that it was holding it up. So anyway, we're back in action. So I'm going to uh, put the centerpiece on. We'll restart the video again. I'll show you what I'm doing. And I think the other stuff I can do with one uh, one hand. So here we go. Okay, so now we got our the ring part in. Okay, our three screws. I did put a little bit of Loctite on them. I uh, 
I'm hoping that they don't come undone, and I don't think they will. I mean, the chance of me honking the horn a whole bunch, but now, yeah, you can see the actual, you can see the movement in here. And again, you try to make this as, as good as possible. So what happens, this horn piece, which I am going to throw this out there. So the steering wheel I got from Radical Restorations, the center, the horn, the ring, and the horn piece, um, I got from... A friend of mine, Calvin, who frequents a lot of swap meets, so I kind of gave him a small list that I'm looking for. And this is actually an original piece. I did have to dye it, but that's, I mean, I dyed it the same as the steering wheel, so it all looked proper, but it sure turned out good. And this is, so then we have the bolt, and I have it, uh, just give me half a second here. I have the bolt here that goes now into here. Okay, so that horn holds the horn pad onto that aluminum piece that's on the uh, the horn ring. So we'll just make that nice and snug. Like so. Okay. So now we got that all tight. I'm going to double check it because that's just uh, deadly. So now we got to finish this off. So if you had a Dodge, clearly you'd have the Dodge um, emblem. This one here has the Roadrunner emblem. And I'm just going to go grab it and show you what, what we have here. Yes, your car seats and everything on the back. But very gently place them on with my car cover here. We're just, just about to let the car down here and hopefully light it up maybe even tonight. So... So this is our piece. Now, as far as I can tell, this one and this one, and I could be wrong. So again, they look the same size, but I don't, I'm not sold that they are, and I haven't uh, popped this one out yet. But this is the one that came with that horn pad that Calvin got me out of California. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one. It looks super good. It's not, it doesn't got any, any marks on it or nothing. So what I wanted to show you is this tab. So I've been reading, I've read, read some forums. I haven't done a steering wheel switch in quite some time. So I thought I'd just maybe do a little bit of looking. And the service information in the book is actually quite, quite poor for that one specific thing. Doing the entire column rebuild, all the information's there. But to change the steering wheel over, it's not, it's not necessarily that good. So anyway, this little tab goes in first and you just push this in. So this will be my first, my first install of one of these here. So we'll see how this goes. Especially with trying to do it through a through a lens here, through my phone. I might have to I'm gonna have to investigate this just a little bit better without uh, I don't want to break this while I'm on camera. So I'm gonna give you an install video here once I get it. Going. all right and it's in it actually you know it went in super simple i just needed two fingers so i just used my two thumbs started on this side to get the tab in and then just kind of rolled it with my two fingers it just fell right in after but so now we have a horn so yeah so this is going to be kind of a piece together video because the hands uh yeah i'm definitely going to be getting a tripod here asap for for a more fluid video but you know what i searched youtube and i couldn't find just a specific taking this type of steering wheel off and putting this type of steering wheel on. So anyway, that's what we got. So now we went from the deluxe to this. Now, again, most of you probably are thinking I'm nuts by going back to this original kind of less fancy steering wheel. But like I told you before in the video, the first part of this video, I have a picture of this car in 1971, still in when it was in Prince Albert. And that is the steering wheel. And I'm, I, I don't want to make this car into a 100-point show car, but that picture just, I just knew it was supposed to be this other version. So, disconnect the battery, and yeah, we're going to get this down on the ground, and I'll maybe try and get another video of this thing firing up for the first time this spring. I haven't, uh, yeah, this is, 
uh, these dollies here also, if, you, uh, if you're looking to get some extra space in your garage, I have four dollies on this car and it is much simpler. If the cement is flat, which ours is here in this garage, um, but yeah, it's super slick to move the car around. So I am, I pull it up from the wall. We'll drop it down and light the wick here. So anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and tell all your friends. Mopar baby.